to introduce you to this guy. This is Otis, and Otis is from the, a rescue group, and he's staying with me as a foster, but he might actually come to live with me. And um, so many people are getting dogs from rescues or shelters, and I wanted to, to provide some input on this because we tend to want to know their story, and we tend to kind of want to have a story to um, almost make excuses for them. He's pretty nervous. I'm going to show you some videos as we go along as well. I'm going to I'm going to try to keep up with some at least weekly posts about how he's doing. So I picked him up uh, 48 hours ago, and he was fine. He rode home fine. We had about an hour trip, but he is uh, he was a breeding dog, and he's now neutered. He just doesn't know anything, so he's pretty timid. A lot of people write that off as, oh, he was abused or, you know, something like that. Well, there are different kinds of abuse, and neglect is certainly one of those, but I honestly think he just just didn't get a foundation training. So that's what I'm going to do with him. And we started right away. I got him home in the evening uh, two nights ago, and we went for a walk the next day right away and what a difference you're gonna see in the videos I will show you and I'll mark them with what day it is but he can be a little timid he is not food motivated you'll go online and watch all these uh, videos about people giving their dogs food <laughs> see that's perfect there's a truck probably the garbage truck driving up you're fine so I just get his attention back you're fine I'm not a big treat trainer but this is where someone would get them back and give them food. I just actually just keep asking for him to look at me and say, you're fine. I don't approach it real timidly. I don't let him run around without a leash on when we're working. I don't want him to go running around timid. I want to bring him back to me and say, hey, you're good. You're doing fine. I'm talking to him the same way in the house. So you're going to be watching some videos now and you'll see how uh, scared he was running around the yard and within 24 hours not even he's running around my yard with his tail up instead of tucked way back here tight so it really does make a difference in how you deal with them don't make excuses don't think you got to give it a lot of time and let them settle in that just helps their nervousness all right so check out the videos